here in um, Hollywood, California, where we're hard at work, but uh, not for long. This, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but this to me is puzzling. There is a bill working its way through the state legislature that would shorten the work week here in California to 32 hours a week from 40. <laughs> What is this? What? You what? guys work like four and a half hours a week apiece. <laughs> oh, oh, it, it feels like more. Well, it isn't more. But I feel like you've been talking for like three hours. <laughs> I've been talking for like less than two minutes. What are you talking about? It has? Yes, it's been less than two minutes. Whew, rough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so can we go home? No, you can't go home. Wow, you sucks, dude. Yeah, dude. 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32, 32. I'm so sorry. I had no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> so these assembly people who proposed this idea, uh, which is a, turns out to be popular, I guess, are Evan Lowe from San Jose and Christina Garcia from here in LA, which is funny because Christina Garcia is perhaps best known for admitting she had or maybe has a keg of beer in her office in Sacramento. I think that's a similar saying, do I have beer in my fridge and so am I an alcoholic? Yes, I have beer in my fridge. Yes, at some point I've had a keg uh, in my office. A lot of us do. It's part of the culture of socializing up there, the way business gets done. <laughs> that's the way business gets done? <laughs> maybe at Fuddruckers. This is supposed to be the government. Meanwhile, the biggest story in show business is that Britney Spears is pregnant with her third child. Their father already signed the kid up for a six-month residency in Vegas, so... Um, <laughs> Britney is 40. Her fiancé slash manager is in his 20s. Uh, around here, we call this the reverse DiCaprio, and... Uh, <laughs> It's an exciting time for Britney, knowing she's about to have uh, another baby, and also for the paparazzi, who know they're about to buy a boat. But the best part is the announcement, which came via Instagram, gave our new nation's newscasters a chance to really spread their creative wings. Oops, she did it again. Or maybe we should say, hit me, baby, one more time. 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 <laughs> hit me, baby, one more time. 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 Give me a sign. People love a song about a violent baby, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> There's another shocker of a story here in Hollywood. You know, it's hard to get a movie made. You have Oscar-winning actors, writers, directors. Every one of them has a project that they can't get going. So that is why it comes as a surprise to learn that Spirit Halloween, you know those stores that pop up every fall in place of other stores? They're scavenger stores. They just put a sign over the other... When the other store <laughs> passes away, they put a sign up and they fill it with knock-off Harley Quinn costumes. Well, somehow, Spirit Halloween has inspired a movie. Strike Back Studios and Hideout Pictures are teaming up to make a Spirit Halloween film. <laughs> Two companies thought this was a good idea. Maybe they figure if they go broke, they can turn their offices into Spirit Halloween stores? I don't know, but the movie is called, get this, Spirit Halloween, and it was the talk of the town, at least in Milwaukee today. The Halloween costume store is getting into the movie business. According to Variety, a new movie is on the way based on the seasonal chain of stores. Now, the movie is billed as a family adventure and will star Back to the Future's Christopher Lloyd and Rachel Lee Cook from the 90s hit She's All That. Hmm. Okay, um, I thought Christopher Lloyd was no longer with us. No, no, he continues working. He's, he okay. is one of the busiest actors in Hollywood. Okay. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not one of the busiest, but... Uh... Alive, for sure. 
as the plot uh, it, of this movie, for real, is when a new spirit Halloween store appears in a deserted strip mall, three middle school friends who think they've outgrown trick-or-treating make a dare to spend the night locked inside the store, but they soon find out the store's haunted by an angry evil spirit who's possessed the creepy animatronic characters, which to me sounds like a regular visit to Chuck E. Cheese at any time of the year, but... Christopher Lloyd's gonna use his time machine to travel back to kill his agents for putting him in this movie. <laughs> I don't get, why not a movie about the 99 cent store? I mean, if Spirit Halloween isn't even a real store, it's a parasite that feeds off the bodies of dead stores. <laughs> well, what do I know? The most popular TV show on Netflix right now is, is called Is It Cake? It's... <laughs> San Francisco uh, police were puzzled when they pulled over what turned out to be a driverless car. Ain't nobody in it. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> Send the ticket to Elon Musk or something. I don't know. <laughs> Steven Seagal turned 70 over the weekend. His ponytail turned 46. His, uh, Steven Seagal lives in Moscow now. He became a Russian citizen in 2016. He's got great timing. And um, <laughs> while his buddy Putin was busy bombing uh, innocent people, Steven gave thanks and declared his love for his adopted Russian friends. Each and every one of you are my family and you're my friends. And I love all of you. And we stand together. In through thick and through thin. He's been living there since 2016. Still doesn't speak one word of Russian. <laughs> Still uses a translator. It's like the whole second half of his life went straight to DVD. <laughs> now, speaking of Russia, while we're on the subject, Russia's neighbor, Sarah Palin, is making a comeback. The former governor of Alaska is running for Congress, where she's the new frontrunner, thanks to an endorsement from Donald Trump. I don't know about you, but I don't think I can handle having Sarah Palin back in the mix every day. The voice alone goes right through the center of my brain. If Sarah Palin is gonna run for Congress and maybe even be elected to Congress, we need to, and this will be good for both of us, for her and us, replace that horrible voice with Morgan Freeman's. <laughs> Are you prepared for that onslaught? Because it's going to be pretty vicious. Uh, you know, I would never be so cocky as to say, bring it on. But yes, I anticipate that when I walk down that hall to get my diet, Dr. Pepper, sure, the jackals are going to be there doing their jackaling. And I just think I've got nothing to lose. Much, much better, I think. I don't know. So, um... The other darling on Fox News, Tucker Carlson, made an interesting confession at a megachurch in San Diego. He said he's not vaccinated. He said he would have wanted to get vaccinated, but every time he tried, a caravan of, of migrants blocked him from the entrance to the CVS. <laughs> I have to say, I don't believe he isn't vaccinated. I don't believe it for a second. I think he is vaccinated. Tucker Carlson is the vaccine equivalent of the guy on the Titanic, Titanic who dressed as a woman to get on the lifeboat first. <laughs> The sickest part is his audience is mostly like scared and impressionable senior citizens who happen to be the most vulnerable group when it comes to COVID. This is like selling Girl Scout cookies outside a diabetes clinic. <laughs> but I'm glad to see the church welcoming prostitutes as Jesus taught us to do, it's especially um, during this Holy Week. Meanwhile, the, uh, the My Pillow man, Mike Lindell, is having a tough go. Not only is Mike Lindell being sued for more than a billion dollars by Dominion Voting Systems. He was publicly served with a lawsuit that filed by a, a former Dominion employee. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for everything. What is this? Mike, sir, Mike, sir, what is this? It's for you. Okay, well, what is it's it? It's not for me. It's not for me. It's for you. Okay, I, I need you to open. I don't... That is, that is a whole document right there, sir. Oh, it is. Sorry. <laughs> it's fun to know you can just walk up to Mike Lindell with anything and he'll grab it like a fiddler crab, you know? 
That aside, the biggest wrinkle in his dockers right now is that he can't even sell pillows anymore. According to him, he's been banned from starring in his own commercials. I had 12, 12 TV stations just the other day now say that I couldn't be in the commercials, that I can only say my pillow. I cannot personally be in them. Well, that's not right. It's like telling Joe Camel he can't sell cigarettes. It's, uh... Let's check in with Mike, because we haven't talked to him in a while, and I'm a little bit worried that um, oh, he's not going to... I personally gonna... guarantee well, what is that this? my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow I don't know. you'll ever own. Uh, uh, my... <laughs> Mike, are you there? Is Mike there? Can I speak to Mike? Cut! Cut! Who the heck is making words on my set? Mike, it's Jimmy. It's Jimmy Kimmel. Dang it, Jimby, you interrupted a good thing. I, well, I'm so sorry about it. What are you shooting there? Uh, if you must know, the cancel and Gretel Illuminazis said I can't hock my own pillows on the boob tube no more. Oh, so I yeah. got my nephew Juno stepping in as pitch man. Hold oh. the pillow higher, Juno, like you're trying to smother the moon. Yeah, Juno, now, wait, you know, I heard about this. Yeah, you are not allowed to appear in your own commercials. That... I know. They're a scared of me because I'm a truth teller. Like how I say the machine stole the election. Or how I say marshmallow peeps are just mice covered in sugar. Or how I blew the lid off Vin Diesel not really being bald. Right, but wait, my, wait, Vin Diesel isn't really bald? Heck no, he's got long flowing tresses like Jared Leto. But they're shadow banning his hairdo because the deep state don't want you to see Dominic Toretto with a blowout. Uh, Interesting. Uh, quiet, quiet, Juno. I'm being, I'm being interviewed on ABC. Uh, I have to tinkle. Oh. Tinkle? You're on the clock, while well, you lazy little SOB. Oh, come on. I knew you'd betray me, Juno. You know I... what? You're fired. Now, Vamanos. Mike, I think you're being a little bit hard on Juno there, aren't you? Oh, bullpucky to you. If that kid wants to sell pillows, he's got to learn how to clamp off his swizzle stick. <laughs> OK. Well, but if, oh, if Juno's gone, who's going to do your commercial since you can't be on it? Don't you worry about that. My secret is I always have a backup. Don't go anywhere. OK. Uh, where would I go? <laughs> right? I mean, I'm here for the duration, really. Oh, OK. Oh, wow. Hey. OK, where's Mike? Where's Mike? Let's do this. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not Mike. I'm Mike's beautiful sister, Ophelia. Oh, well, hello, Ophelia. And unlike that Judge Karate Gee Brown Jackson, I know what a woman is. I'm all lady from down deep in my baby cave all the way up to my sweater potatoes. <laughs> Wait, are you and Mike um, twins? Triplets, actually. Oh. But we ate our other brother. Why? You ate your... You ate your other brother? We ate him up on a camping trip when we were all about 15. Oh, no. We ran out of trail mix, and we had to make some tough decisions. Now leave me be. I got to sell some pillows. I'm so sorry. I'll just stand by while you do your whatever you need to do there, Ophelia. Hi, I'm Ophelia Lindell. The government may try to muzzle my brother, but as someone who bathed with him well into our late 40s, I'm here to tell you that my pillow is the best. Pillow! <laughs> Order now, and I'll throw in a train ride right up my tummy tunnel. Operators are standing by. <laughs> Cut! Great job, sis. Now well, let's go get some tater tot hot dish. <laughs> you know, you need to talk to Juno. Did you know he made a tinkle during a shoot? No. Yes. That's why I brought you in. I knew a certain level of professionalism was necessary. Wow, there's Mike and Ophelia and Lindell. They're twins. Well, they're triplets. One of their siblings passed away. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.